Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'll be teaching you how to play Five Nights at Freddy's 2 rap song by JT Machinima. It's called Five More Nights. Alright, so I'll be teaching you two sections in this song today and this will be the introduction and also the chorus. Yes, alright, so the introduction goes something like this with two hands. Okay, so you can see it's pretty easy. The left hand it only has three chords in total. C minor, G major, and C minor. C minor, C, E flat, G, and G major, G, B, D, and then back to C minor again. Normally I teach the right hand first, but the, right hand, the left hand is so easy, so I just get that out of the way though first. Okay, so the right hand now, so it starts on a C near the top here. So this middle C, not this C, but the C on the top over there. So C, G, A flat, G, E flat, G, and then G, C, G, A flat, B flat, B, G, B, G, A flat, G, D, G, G, B, G, F, E flat, D, C. Alright, pretty simple, right? Let's try that whole again. So. C, G, A flat, G, E flat, G, G, C, G, A flat, B flat, B, G, B, G, A flat, G, D, G, G, B, G, F, E flat, D, C. Okay. So putting the two hands together, this is the left hand C minor, G major and C minor, it will go something like this. So when you first play the right hand C, the C minor chord on the left hand plays exactly together like this. You keep holding the left hand. When you play the B on the right hand, G major chord comes in. Hold that. Play the C, C minor chord. Okay, pretty easy, right? Let's do it all again. So let's try it again. Together. And then when you play the B, G major chord together. Hold it. And then C minor with the C. And that's it. Okay. What we're going to do now, I'm going to teach you the chorus. The chorus for two hands goes something like this. that okay so let's jump straight to the right hand first the right hand the melody starts with E flat so this is middle C C and E flat okay so E flat C D E flat there's a lot of this pattern here and then again C D E flat and then F E flat D and then C D E flat it's mostly grouped in groups of three notes if you haven't noticed C D E flat again C, E flat, G, F, E flat, D, C, D, E flat, C, D, E flat, C, D, E flat, F, E flat, D, C, D, E flat, C, D, E flat, and then the last bit is the only part that isn't grouped in groups of three apart from the first note. So C, D, E flat, C, F, E flat, D. So that one is a group of seven notes together. Okay, so let's go from the start again. So the first note is the only, uh, first and last group of notes is the only um, notes that are not grouped in three. Okay, so E flat, and then here we go for the group of three notes spam. So C, D, E flat, C, D, E flat, F, E flat, D, C, D, E flat, C, D, E flat, 
C E flat G F E flat D C D E flat C D E flat C D E flat F E flat D C D E flat C D E flat C D E flat C F E flat D Yes, and that's pretty much it. All right, so the chords, very simple. Four chords repeated for four times in the whole chorus. So the chords is C minor, C, E flat, G, followed by A flat major, E flat, C, E flat, followed by E flat major, E flat, G, B flat, followed by the fourth chord in the cycle, G major, G, B, D. Okay, so, that is the four chords, and you repeat that for the second time, third time, and fourth time. C minor, A flat major, E flat major, G major. Okay, so for two hands, it will go something like this. So it will start off with E flat and C minor together. And then always at the last note of the group of three, um, notes you know how there's always a group of three notes everywhere in this chorus so the last note which is e flat here a flat major chord comes in the chords always come in there and then e flat major chord on the third note e flat together c minor with the e flat a flat major with the e flat and then e flat major with the g G major with the D, C minor with the E flat, A flat major with the E flat, E flat major with the E flat, G major with the D, C minor with the E flat, A flat major with the E flat, and then the last bit is a tiny bit different thing, so E flat major with the E flat. G major with the D. Okay, let's do that whole thing again. So C minor with the E flat. A flat major with the E flat. E flat major with the E flat. G major with the D. C minor with the E flat. A flat major with the E flat. E flat major with the G. G major with the D. C minor with the E flat, A flat major with the E flat, E flat major with the E flat, G major with the D, C minor with the E flat, A flat major with the E flat, E flat major with the E flat, and G major with the D. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So after that, you can just add extra stuff to it, like... it the chorus appears a lot of times in this song and I guess that's why you need to practice it a bit more so you can remember this catchy part in the chorus okay so if you like this lesson please leave a like and subscribe for more of these covers and tutorials that I do well this is a tutorial anyway but I also do both anyway like the advanced covers uh, corresponding to this lesson Okay, so what you can do if you didn't catch something in the lesson, just rewind it and go back and check it out again. So, yeah. Alright, anyway, I can't think right now, so I'm going to leave it here to you. Practice it and uh, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. Hey there, I'm glad that you finished this lesson. You must love music just like I do. So don't forget to subscribe for more of these lessons on many other new songs in the future. 
As a reward for finishing this lesson, I firstly want to give you a free trial on the piano method that I have created and use every day in my piano covers, spending around 10 to 20 minutes learning and recording a song almost instantly without the slow methods of sheet music or synthesia. Secondly, if you are a curious student who wants to learn more than what is in this lesson and download the full chords and melody of this and every other song in the future for you to play for yourself starting from this song onwards, then become my Patreon. And for your final gift, click the video on the right to view my full performance of this very song that you have just learnt.